My name is Aiden Morris and I am a ninth grader here at Barton Academy and I am the SGA president. Um, if you would please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and all your signs. Dr. Jones to award our students. Thank you, Aiden. Welcome to our parents and guests today and to our students and our amazing faculty as we have our first final Honors Day celebration. We have so much to celebrate this year. We've had such a wonderful school year, and I am just so proud of the work and efforts of our teachers and our students this year. When I think back over the school year, um, July 30th of last summer, which was the very end of summer, is when our building was officially turned over to us. And just a few days after that, on that was a Friday, the following Wednesday, we had a large donor event uh, for the donors who helped make this restoration possible. And then on that Thursday of that week is when we opened the doors to our parents and students for the very first time. And so it was just that quick. We hit the ground running and we have not stopped since. And so just in that short amount of time, when we opened our doors August 11th to reopen Barton Academy for the first time since 1965. We truly made history, and I want for our students to remember that, that you made history this year by reopening this school. And since that time, just to give you an idea of some of the things that have been accomplished in this one school year, we currently have Alabama's secondary teacher of the year, not just Barton's teacher of the year, not just Mobile County's teacher of the year, but the state of Alabama's secondary teacher of the year is right here at Barton Academy with Mr. Edmonds, and he was recognized this year. We have had we had a, a golden apple teacher. We've had a number of teachers present at national conferences or will be presenting at national conferences and institutes this summer. We have, I think, somewhere around 15 teachers that are going to attend Space Academy this summer together. We have five students who were awarded scholarships to attend Space Academy this summer in Huntsville. Um, we have had a wonderful year with our band, choir, and orchestra who earned top ratings this year and have open the year with their wonderful performances. Um, we started a soccer team, track team. Next year we'll have volleyball, cross country. We have a cheer team. And they've all done a wonderful job. We had an underwater robotics team, which who has even heard of underwater robotics? <laughs> but we had it here in our first year. And that group of students actually won two different middle school awards and was the overall performing middle school team and they placed second with our high school even in high school teams and so they only missed going to nationals by one point and so that was another accomplishment this year our vex robotics team made it to finals this year in their competition we had a scholars bowl team who did a fantastic job competing we had two different teams, one for high school, who did very well in competition against other high schools, and we only have ninth grade here, and they're competing against ninth or twelfth grade, and did a fantastic job. Um, and our middle school Scholars Bowl team made it to the top finals also. We had 10 film festival finalists that were entered into our film festival this year, and we ended up winning five categories this year. We're, you know, it's Barton Academy, Barton Academy, Barton Academy. So if they didn't know we existed, they know now. 
know. So that was exciting. We had a Junior Achievement Award finalist, which came, that was born right out of our entrepreneur shop, which is something very unique to Barton, where we have student businesses um, and have had some amazing success with our students creating businesses here at Barton. And not to mention just all of the wonderful partnerships, the outstanding field trips that our students have been able to attend and walk to. We've been able to take advantage of walking to various places around the community. We've had tremendous support and tremendous success for a one single school year where we were having to start everything from the beginning. And they started it and we're this successful with all of these things that we've been able to do this year. And so that doesn't happen without a tremendous amount of support from our fabulous parents. So thank you. And a, and a tremendous amount of work on the part of our students and especially on the part of this faculty and staff who has just come in. We, we started the year with our foot on the accelerator and we haven't let off yet. So we're probably going to speed past the end of the year and be like, oh wait, we're done, wait. So we're excited to be here, to be at this time of the year where we can look back and reflect on everything that you all have accomplished. So without further ado, today we are here to celebrate this afternoon our seventh and eighth grade students and their accomplishments. And the way this is going to work, our students are going to stand when it's at their grade level's time and the teachers are going to announce a variety of awards or things that our students may have participated in this year. And they'll get a folder with various certificates for, that recognize their accomplishments. So when you hear their name, if you'll just please hold your applause until the teacher's able to say their name and all of their accomplishments. And so students will come up on the stage. They'll shake my hand like you would for a graduation, but you're not graduating. <laughs> you're just being accomplished. And then you'll make your way back to your spot. <coughs> Let's begin with seventh grade. All right, we will begin seventh grade awards with Muhammad. Abdullah, who's receiving a certificate of seventh grade completion. Muhammad Superlative, most likely to create digital animations for Pixar. <laughs> seventh grade ELA award, and he was a member of the Barton Robotics team. <laughs> Up next, we have Carson Ackridge, who's receiving a certificate of seventh grade completion. His superlative, most likely to make a million with Bitcoin. <laughs> Yearly honor roll, seventh grade computer science award, and he was also a member of the Barton Robotics team. <laughs> uh, next we have Will Anderson, who's receiving a certificate of seventh grade completion. Will's superlative, most likely to speak French, German, or Spanish in his future career. He's receiving the 7th grade We Build It Better Award. He's a member of the Barton Academy Robotics team and is also getting recognized for the German Club. <laughs> Up next we have Lena Azizi. Lena is receiving a certificate of 7th grade completion. Her superlative, most likely to ace every test. Yearly honor roll. 7th Grade Excellence in French Award, 7th Grade Life Science Award, Art Certificate, and was a member of the Barton Broadcasting Team. <laughs> Next we have Jesse Baker, who is receiving a Certificate of 7th Grade Completion and his superlative, most likely to invent a new popular electronic game. <laughs> Up next, we have Ray Beck, who's receiving a certificate of seventh grade completion. Ray's superlative, most dependable explorer. She's receiving yearly honor roll, seventh grade excellence in math award, band award, and was a member of the MCPSS middle school honor band. <laughs> Up 
Next, we have Andrew Blahas, who's receiving a certificate in seventh grade completion. His superlative, most likely to become a successful entrepreneur. Yearly honor roll, seventh grade excellence in German award, art certificate, and he was a member of the Barton Broadcasting team. And Angelina Bolas is receiving a certificate of seventh grade completion. Her superlative is best smile, so everybody, <laughs> and is receiving yearly honor roll. Good afternoon, my name is Ms. Bohannon, and first up is Alicia Brown. Alicia will be receiving their certificate for seventh grade completion. The seventh grade superlative is most responsible, and she received the yearly honor roll award. <laughs> Next up, I have Carrington Alea Preeton. She's receiving an award for seventh grade completion, best of um, lab, young entrepreneur award. She's receiving an award for choir and streams. Excellence in Choir, Barton Broadcasting Team, and the Barton Spanish Club. <laughs> Kendall is getting the seventh grade completion award. Um, her superlative is most likely to find a cure for an illness and the Barton Broadcasting Award. <laughs> Next up is Lila Acoff, and she's receiving the certificate of seventh grade completion. <laughs> and superlative is most likely to write and publish a book. <laughs> Next up is Alicia Green. Alicia, I'm sorry, Green. Alicia is in seventh grade completion. Superlative is most likely to become a newscaster. She's a member of the Student Government Association. She was our vice president this school year. She's receiving an excellence in PE award, and she's a member of the Bard Broadcasting Team. Next is John Henry Harrington, <laughs> seventh grade completion, and um, his superlative is most likely to go into politics. <laughs> Next is Ava Howitt. Ava is receiving the seventh grade completion award. Her superlative is most likely to be a social media star, and she received the German Club Award. <laughs> Zylon Jones. Zylon is receiving a certificate of seventh grade completion. His superlative is most likely to travel the world, and he's a member of the Barton Broadcasting Team. All right, next one is Bree Levins. She's receiving a certificate of seventh grade completion, her superlative, most likely to open her own shop. She's also in the seventh grade honor roll and a member of the Spanish Club. <laughs> Next we have Kamari Lewis. She's receiving a certificate of seventh grade completion and her superlative, hardest working explorer. <laughs> Next we have Bryce Miller. He's receiving a certificate of seventh grade completion, superlative, most likely to become a cybersecurity professional. He's also on the seventh grade honor roll. He has a certificate of academic excellence in Spanish, and he's a member, uh, a representative in our SGA class. All right, we have Aisley Moore, and we have uh, Certificate of seventh grade completion, superlative, most likely to invent something new. Not here. This is the here. Robotics team member and a member of the broadcasting team. All right, next is Anna Murray. Anna's receiving a certificate of seventh grade completion. Her superlative, most cheerful. She's also a member of the honor roll, a member of We Build It Better. She also received an excellence award in art. She also was awarded an artist for winning Wildlife of Mobile, and she is a member of the broadcasting team. <laughs> Next, we have Lauren Wynn. 
certificate of seventh grade completion. Her superlative, most likely to travel in space. She is also a member of the honor roll and of the Spanish club. Next, we have Jayla Oliver. She's not here today. Certificate of seventh grade completion. Superlative, most likely to make beautiful music. She also has an excellence in band for her honor band performance, music achievement also in band, and she also received an excellence in superior solo and ensemble rays. All right, and then our next is Tully Peters. He'll be receiving a certificate of seventh grade completion, his superlative, most likely to read 100 books in a calendar year. <laughs> He's also receiving excellence in boys PE, and he's a member of the broadcasting team. receives a certificate of seventh grade completion, superlative most likely to compete in the Olympics, honor roll, and Spanish club. <laughs> Next we have Carmelo Walker, certificate of seventh grade completion. His superlative is most likely to become a great coach. Next is Jayla Waller, certificate of seventh grade completion, superlative most likely to make beautiful music, honor roll, and choir. <laughs> Next is Jaslyn Waller, certificate of seventh grade completion, superlative most likely to start a new fashion line, <laughs> and honor roll certificate. Ian Watson is next, certificate of seventh grade completion, 
superlative most likely to become a professional esports player and German club certificate. <laughs> Next is Braylon White, certificate of seventh grade completion and a superlative most resilient and likely to design a luxury shoe style. <laughs> Anaya Williams, Certificate of 7th Grade Completion, Superlative Most Likely to Make Others Laugh, Barton Broadcasting Team Member, and Choir Member. Excellent job to our 7th graders. You may have a seat, 7th grade. We are going to transition to our 8th grade recognition, so those students, if you would please stand and form your line, similar to 7th grade. They can come on up. Go ahead and form your line up here. And while they're making their way, let's give one more round of applause to our 7th graders. Social Studies Award, Accelerated Mathematics Award. She is an awarded artist for winning the Superintendent Art Show. She is also receiving an Art Award, Computer Science Award, Robotics Award, because she was part of the robotics team. She is one of our school ambassadors. She also participates with the Bartonian Newsletter, Spanish Club, and her superlative is most likely to ace every test. <laughs> Next is Matthew Anderson. Matthew is receiving the Certificate of Completion for 8th grade, German Club President, a Soccer Team Award, and his superlative is for Best Laugh. <laughs> Lena Andrews is next. Lena is receiving our Award for Completion, Certificate for Completion. She is also receiving Honor Roll. Music Achievement, Excellence in Choir. She is the German Club Secretary. Lena is also on our robotics team. She also participated in Math Club, and her superlative is most likely to speak French, German, or Spanish in their future career. <laughs> Next is Nersan Marie, and he is receiving the eighth grade certificate of completion, honor roll, Medical Detectives Award. He is a part of our broadcasting team and his superlative is most likely to go into politics. <laughs> Josie Burks is next. She is receiving the eighth grade certificate of completion, honor roll, medical detectives award, honor band, outstanding woodwind certificate, musical achievement for band and choir, honor choir, she is also a part of the Bartonian newsletter, and her superlative is most likely to do good for others. <laughs> Aiden Coates is our next eighth grader. He will be receiving the award for um, Certificate of Completion of Eighth Grade, the PE Award, Young Entrepreneur Award, and his superlative is most likely to complete in the Olympics. <laughs> Lee Davis is our next 8th grader and he is receiving the Certificate of Completion of 8th grade. He is also a part of our robotics team and his superlative is most likely to serve honorably in the military. Good 
Good afternoon. The next student is Noah Dorsey. Noah is receiving a certificate of completion for eighth grade, earned honor roll for the year, is receiving recognition for medical detectives and robotics, and his superlative is most likely to rock the stock market. <laughs> next we have Naima Dorch. She is receiving a certificate of completion for eighth grade, uh, the English award, is a BART ambassador for the school year, and her superlative is the hardest working explorer. <laughs> Next, we have Tatum Hamlet. She is receiving a certificate of completion for eighth grade, earned honor roll for the school year, is receiving the biology award and the French award. She is receiving a certificate for honor choir, a soloist for choir, music achievement for choir, is a member of the Barton Ambassadors broadcasting team, robotics, and her superlative is most likely to become a professional singer or songwriter. Yeah. <laughs> Next we have Francesca Jones. She is receiving uh, a certificate of, of completion for eighth grade, uh, recognition for honor band, music achievement, and her superlative is most likely to find a cure for illness. Next we have Frankie Jones. He is receiving a certificate of completion for eighth grade, he is receiving an Art Excellence Award, and his superlative is most likely to create digital animations for Pixar. Yes. William Knight is receiving a certificate of completion for eighth grade. He earned honor roll for the school year, is a Barton Ambassador, is the Student Government Association Treasurer, and his superlative is most likely to invent a new popular electronic game. And next we have Riley McNair. She is receiving a certificate of completion for eighth grade and her superlative is most likely to become a teacher.
we have Ms. Hines who's going to give out a few overall awards. So our oh. <laughs> so these awards that we're going to be giving out here, these are the overall subject awards. So these are the students who have the highest GPA in one in their core classes throughout the whole year. So for this year, for seventh grade, we'll have seventh grade life sciences, seventh grade mathematics, seventh grade ELA, and seventh grade social studies. And for all four of those, all four of those go to Ray Beck. stay up here for just a moment because also for eighth grade accelerated math that is Rhea as well
protection due to our society. For our rising eighth graders, the first on the list is Carson Ackridge. Next, Lena is easy. Next is Ray Beck. this year so thank you again parents for all that you've done to support that and to support our school and um, be an advocate for our school and for your students this year so at this time this is the conclusion of our honors program parents if you are planning to take your child for an early dismissal please just make sure that you touch base with the teacher first and then you'll take them into the office to sign them out if you choose to do so to avoid car line this afternoon I wouldn't blame you but I'm not encouraging it because we love our students and want to keep them. <laughs> However, if you are going to do that, please just check in with your teacher first. Thank you all again for coming. Let's give one more round of applause. Thank you for so